All right, everybody. It's one of the biggest shows of the year here in Southern Ontario. I'm heading to the Toronto Coin Expo, and I'm going to bring you along with me. Hope you have a great time. It's a beautiful morning heading to the Toronto Coin Expo. It is very busy on the highway here, as you can see. A beautiful sunrise happening right now, a really beautiful day. We are in the heart of Toronto, and I am late. You can see it's nice little neighborhoods here, uh, but uh, not a whole lot I can do about this, being late right now. Just outside uh, Chinatown, actually. You can kind of tell that with the signage and all that, but should be there soon. All right, so we're in Toronto here, just outside the Coin Expo. That's the back of the building there. We're just heading in. But uh, it's been a good show so far and looking forward to a nice busy day. I'll get you some more landmark shots and nicer buildings afterwards and uh, give you lots of updates. But uh, yeah, talk to you soon. live at the Toronto Coin Expo. You can see lots of great vendors here. We're going to pick up some fun stuff to raffle off. Lots to share and lots to show. Some great tables. These guys over here are great, great guys too. This is the one of the bigger shows of the year, so you really get a lot of the bigger tables, the bigger dealers, um, more of the established businesses with some of the more uh, rare product and that to, to get a hold of. Very cool. All right, so we'll take a drift around here and we'll show off some of the some of the stuff and the tables that you can check out. And I've got to do my rounds and see what I can pick up. See what I can grab for the old store and Facebook and that. Lots of great vendors here. Lots of great coins, and I'll go around and I'll as as we can. We'll time for a little lunch break. Get myself a spicy burger here, jalapeno bacon burger. Show's been doing pretty well. I'm kind of hanging out in the corner here. There's our table. Been a good, uh, busy, busy day so far. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. So I had some food into my belly, and uh, yeah, and we'll see what happens uh, later on in the day, and I'll share more. Lots of great stuff over here as well. You see tons of great vendors and dealers. So definitely want to come down to this show. See this one here is uh, the auction network. Where I picked up some good deals before. Some friends over here at this table, some great stuff. Some people still setting up, you know, still still arriving. Oh, lots of good gold. We'll have to check out this table after. We'll share that on Facebook Live. Hey everybody, it's day two of the Toronto Coin Expo, and you can see it's much, much busier today than it was. And you see a little closer here, you can see lots of Lots of people showing up, lots of different vendors, uh, and some traded out, different ones in here today. And, uh, very, very cool and lots of great tables. Alright everybody, a little vlog here, a little vlog. It's a young street, very popular street, along one of the longest streets in the world actually. And uh, we're right down here in Toronto. That's the reference library that we're at for the coin show. Just grabbing myself some lunch. And then head out here, so we got the big... Big high rises here, and I'm not near the CN Tower right now. It's kind of buried behind stuff, but uh, I'll try and get that on the way home at least. But we're in the heart of downtown. Lots of great stuff going on. And I'm in there doing the coin show, and uh, well, it's been pretty good. Good couple days on the at the show. Fairly busy today. Was uh, busy, but a little slower with some of the sales. Uh, but that's because all the office people from downtown are here. They're home for the weekend. So yeah. So I'll try and show you other shots of the city, and uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. And it came back as a 63, and I paid the 63 price. 
in the fact of practice of the dealers who build confidence in the dealer. And uh, he's not trying to get the best out of you, but he may not know much more than you. Remember that. He may or she may not know much more than you. So therefore, you cannot really blame them. But it's your money. Our Canadian Silver Saver here doing a bit of a on the road. You can see here it is absolutely packed with traffic. But not going anywhere. This is the Toronto Highway that it looks like. So I am going to be a while before I'm home. And I will, uh, there's a good show and lots to, lots of come in the show. All right, everybody. I hope you had a great time with me at the Toronto Coin Expo this weekend. I want to say a very special thank you to Jared and the team and everybody from the Toronto Coin Expo for a great show and your awesome support with my channel, as well as to Jack at the Coin Shop and your continued support and my friends Phil and Eli from Feli Mint and my buddy John Masterson there, the Beave from Beaver Bullion. It was a great time this weekend. It was really because of you guys. And of course, a big reason for that was because of my friends, fans, viewers and followers out there from Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. I actually got to meet so many of you this weekend. It was very awesome. Uh, I, I can't uh, say thank you enough for that. And I'm a little humbled and taken back by it, honestly. So uh, good luck to everybody in the contest. And I'm also looking forward to re uh, meeting more of you in the future. And uh, it'll be a great time. So let's get right to everything here. I've got lots to show off. I'm going to go over it really quickly uh, just to highlight things. And then I'll go back and feature more of this over the coming uh, few days and weeks. So... Uh, here's a piece from MK Bars. So MK Bars, uh, you don't see a lot of this in Canada. So if you do want to pick up something from MK Bars, head on over to the coin shop. Uh, they have these available items from the uh, MK Bars available right now. Uh, and you'll be able to pick those up. So this is a cool piece. Lucky number eight for me, five ounce. It's actually over five and a half ounces. It's a heavy piece, actually. Um, so that's cool. Um, I picked up a lot of Canadian, old Canadian silver here. Uh, a couple of these pieces are going to go to a viewer. I asked uh, if he wanted me to pick up some for him. And these these are ones for me. Oh, not this one. Um, these are ones for me that I wanted to add the years that I didn't have. This one will go in my, my collection. Uh, this one is a year I didn't, I didn't have, and it's pretty much in perfect condition. I'm not a coin grading person, but maybe you could help me out with that. But is that not BU? you? Um, just a great, great piece. And, I did, and it's a good year too. So a little bit more money I had to pay on that, but that was fine. I picked up a uh, moose. I haven't seen a Canadian moose in a while. This one's really uh, in pretty much in perfect condition. Again, uh, I may send out away a bunch of coins to get them graded, but I'm going to meet a viewer, a friend, a Medio Man. Medio Man, I'm going to get it wrong now because we were talking about it and he said because of the French and I'm sorry now. <laughs> uh, but he's from uh, the Toronto area and we're going to meet up and we're going to talk about that type of thing. So I'll speak to that more as the as the weeks go on as I get to do it. Uh, but great guy and a great uh, great time, one of the viewers that I got to meet. I um, mean, really knows his stuff. So. Uh, this is what I needed to add to my year, uh, 1941. Um, there's another 1941. That's for the viewer that asked for it. Uh, 1952, that's one that I needed, and these are in great condition. Great, great condition. Um, as Mike GPO would say, you got a cracker there. And a 1940, another nice, another cracker. Didn't have that one. So um, added some years to my stack, as well as some for the viewer. Now, if the viewer, I picked up one uh, silver dollar and one, well, here's the other silver dollar. Death head. Um, one silver dollar and one half dollar but if you want two silver dollars and two half dollars i did get a couple extras of double years that i had um, including the ship dollar here so um this is from the boys at feel i mint i'm going to do uh, a, a feature on their stuff uh, shortly uh, but this is the proof uh, temptation of the succubus um, i needed uh, i didn't have this one uh, they'd set it aside because i always get my number eight whenever i can and i started the series and if you want to head over to feel i uh, website there uh Wonderful people, lots of great products, including the uh, Silver Shield Mini, uh, what do you call it, Mini Mini Vintage Series, and uh, lots of other great items along with their, their own stuff, but I'll feature that later. And grab some cool silver one ounce pieces. This is the, just a, an Indian one, and then it's from 1992. And I'll, do, I'll do more on these as I can, but 
I love adding unique generic silver. This one here was one that uh, Medio Man, Medio Man, jeez, I'm gonna get that wrong now. Um, really liked and told me that it's in great condition, and I, I agree. Um, but I picked this up because it was a unique and different piece. Um, one ounce silver, but it's gonna have a striking error on the edge of it. It's, looks pretty much uncirculated, BU, he said. See, there wasn't enough silver in the mold when they did it, or something went wrong with the mold. Um, this piece, piece of Mexican silver, awesome piece as well 1978 and then what i like about the mexican silver is that they put the it's gonna be hard to get it oh, 925 right there and down here it tells you 33.626626 grams 625 grams grams so that uh it's one ounce of pure silver in there but then the the sterling but uh it's and i i like they put that it's sterling and the weight right on it that's cool this piece is a special Canadian piece because it commemorates Cobalt Cannon. It was the world's largest, uh, let's see, world's richest silver camp um, when it was in production. And uh, I want to do a feature about this because, you know, being Canadian that, so we'll go in on that a little bit more. Um, this was a commemorative one, celebrating 60 years of it, but it really got shut down uh, a little bit before this. Uh, but we'll talk about that more. Beautiful piece. It's about an ounce and a half. And it's the only silver that was guaranteed to be mined only like pure Canadian silver. Uh, so these, these pieces are unique and quite sought after. A great collector piece. And I got a great deal on that. So thank you. Um, so much here. So I'm going to go over this quickly. Look at this. Suter bar. Another suter. And this is a JM suter bar. Collectors out there, you're going to love that one. And I'm going to do a mini um, one ounce pressy feature, as Golden Arms would call them. Uh, missing those videos here, Golden Arms. Uh, TD Bank Bar, and it is a Jonathan Matthew. And then we've got the another TD Bank Bar, Johnson Matthew, in protective packaging, so people are going to really like those. And then this is a Engelhard TD Bank Bar, so this is a highly sought-after piece as well. I have myself an Engelhard TD Bar, that's pretty awesome. And I'll get into why in another video on that. Um, added some more skulls to my own uh, store in that. They're the new antique skulls. So, um, you know, Halloween's coming and I wanted to add some of that. So that's added. That's st store stock. Uh, they'll be up for sale very soon. Uh, some beaver bullion antique rounds. One, two, and three ounce of his Viking rounds. I love that he antiqued these. So uh, adding those to the store as well. Something, uh, something different to share. And then... The stamps you saw a while back, I got a set of three stamps. I added three more because of Mike GPO. Thanks for the trade on that. And now I've got three more of these as well. And it came with the this actual stamps, the commemorative stamps and the original receipt. But again, we'll, f we'll feature these a little bit more as the weeks go on. Um, just don't want to take too long on the video here. And, uh, you know, being at the coin show and everything. And then I picked up the commemorative little medallion here about the Jeffrey Bell auctions and the Toronto Reference Library coin show. Right there says the date, and uh, so it basically says I was there, and they were handing these out, and I thought I'd pick that up, and again, thank you everybody for the great show, it was a great time, so that was my haul from the weekend, oh, and I also grabbed this as well, medium flag bar, another one of those, I have the one with 2017 on the back, and then there's the ones that are just, makes more of them that aren't, aren't limited, so very cool stuff, um, uh, Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. I hope you had a great time with there. I hope uh, this was a nice feature of all this cool silver. I will go over it in more detail. And, uh, yeah, so stay tuned for more great videos. Uh, I'm really looking forward to sharing more of my adventures around coin shows and uh, different things I've got planned. I think it's going to be an exciting year, and a big thank you for all your support. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. It helps tremendously to get my videos out there and really encourages me to work hard and give you quality videos. And if you... Do like the videos hit that subscribe button my road to 1000 subscribers giveaway is really close i'm about 25 away from hitting my 1000 when i do i've got three great packs uh, prize packs to give away with some awesome sellers so we'll see you soon everybody we'll talk to you soon anyways and uh i'm looking forward to sharing more great stuff with you take care canadian silver saver 